Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to be solving another trig example from the algebra regions. So pause it, try it out on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so they give us the cosine of the angle. Cool. And they're telling us the angle's in quadrant four. They're reminding us that this is true, and they want to know what the tangent of theta equals. So, all right, so I think that the easiest way to think about this problem Let's just draw it out. We've got an angle in quadrant four. So standard position starts in the x-axis and then kind of goes around from there. Okay, that's our angle. And I'm thinking, all right, from here we can draw this triangle. And um, they tell us that the cosine of the angle, so we can use the reference angle is seven over 25. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this length is seven and the hypotenuse is 25. We, want, we just wanna find this y value here. All right, so it's gonna be, let's see, seven squared plus y squared. We've got a right triangle is 25 squared. So y squared equals, well, 25 squared is 625 minus seven squared, which is 49. And that's gonna be our uh, y value. Now that I believe is going to get us, let's see, 625, we're going to subtract 49 in two parts, so minus 25 and 24 more. That's 576. And the square root of 576, sorry, I'm blanking out on that. Let's see, so uh, second, oh boy, square root of 576, 24, I should know that. Okay, so y squared is 576, that means that y is the square root of 576. Now, it could be the positive or negative square root, so it's positive or negative 24. However, you can see right here we're in the fourth quadrant, so y is negative, and that's negative 24. So the tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, so it's this opposite over this adjacent, and it's choice 2. You can, you know, why did they give us this fact right here? Well, another way to solve this is to say that the sine squared of theta equals one minus the cosine squared of theta. So you plug in what you have for cosine, right? It's it's gonna the sine is gonna be excuse me the square root of one minus cosine of theta is seven over twenty five. So seven over twenty five squared. So the sine of theta equals, and I'll just put it's a plus or minus. So the sine of theta is going to be plus or minus the square root of, let's see, so it's one. So that's going to actually get you, because seven over 25 is 49 over 625. And when you do one minus that, you're going to get plus or minus the square root of um, 576 over 6. 25 sine theta. So that's plus or minus 24 over 25, right? Now, if you look at that, let me show us that different. Well, in our triangle right here, if you scaled everything down, you divide everything by 25, you'd be right back in the unit circle. 25, 25, 25. You could see that this is equivalent to this right here. Now that the, the you had to go a little bit further to find the tangent. The tangent is sine over cosine. So you take this sine value and divide it by this cosine value. And that looks really complicated, but we're in quadrant four. So you take the negative sine value and you divide it by 7 25ths or multiply by the reciprocal and you get the same thing. Now I like this approach better where you draw a triangle, but you can also use the Pythagorean identity which is what they gave us right here. All right, I hope that helped.